Hi, my name is Ali Shesava from Bridge Digital and in this short video, video we are going to talk about how we measure the inductance of a common mode choke. We know that the common mode choke has got common mode inductance and differential mode inductance and we're going to measure both of them. So if you imagine <clears throat> you have got a common mode choke which looks like so. If I use the body 100 in order to measure the inductance of this coil, this winding, whilst leaving this completely open so there is no current flowing in this part, then I will measure the total inductance as seen by uh, the, the common mode currents. There are other setups for measurements uh, as shown in some of other, other manufacturers or manufacturers data sheets but they give you exactly the same results. This is just as valid whereby we put this into the test fixture and we measure this inductance and that gives you the common mode uh, inductance. Now if I short this here, given that these two coils are exactly the same number of turns and wound on, on the core, the flux generated in this should be equal and opposite to flux generated on this one according to Lenz's law and therefore 100% of it should cancel. Because it is not an ideal choke, some of it will not cancel and that is the leakage inductance which we said earlier on in another video that it manifests itself as the differential mode inductance. So if I short this part I will end up measuring the differential mode inductance. We now will go to the test setup so that we can make a real measurement. Now we are going to do the measurement. Uh, this is a common mode choke that I have got. And what we are going to do is first we are going to measure from this side, so it's only this coil, with this one open circuit. And as we suggested earlier on, that would give you the common mode inductance. And then later on I'm going to short these two with a, pair, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a little bit of wire and by shorting this you would expect everything to cancel between these two identical coils. But the part that doesn't is the leakage inductance and that is the bit that acts as our differential mode inductance which we will use in the filter. So I'm going to now put it into the test picture in order to measure. Okay, so now the body 100 is uh, measuring the uh, um, common mode inductance. You can see that this part is open. Uh, and here on the impedance plot, you can see that impedance rises um, and it is at its highest around 5 to 7 megahertz. And of course, that is the area whereby common mode uh, currents start to flow well. Um, and you also notice that the Q of this, the resonance of this is very shallow, which means that it's very, very lossy. So all the energy, the common mode current energy is being dissipated and that is exactly what we want. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out and I've got to short one of the coils on the other side and then I'm going to measure it again. And by measuring the inductors with the coil shorted, theoretically, I should measure zero, but you will see that I will not. There we go. You can see the classic look on an inductance just rising. This part is the resistive part, and then you have got the inductors rising. Uh, and of course, I am plotting the inductance here. So if I get the cursor up, you'll see that in its linear region, Oh, that's the phase, I beg your pardon. Let me change that to inductance. You will see that it's relatively linear in this region and I am measuring about three microhenries. So even though the coil is shorted and you expect to be measuring zero, in fact, uh, you have got around three microhenries worth of uh, leakage inductance and of course we use that in the filter to, to filter out differential mode currents.